Hello, Mr. Dre back with another video. And in this one, it's going to be, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at multiplying whole numbers and it's going to be a pause and practice video. So that means we're going to have you copy these down, these three problems down in your notebook and then pause the video. Um, you can either do all three or pause it one by one. And, uh, and then when you, when you finished it or when you need help, um, you can replay the video and, or, or press start on the video and then um, I'll go through it. So this one isn't as much as a tutorial or how to do it. This is more of just checking your work and seeing if you're on the right track, right? So um, right now, uh, pause the video and then copy either the first one or all three, do them, and then when you're ready, press play. So pause the video now. All right, welcome back. We're going to start with 345 times 62. 345 times 62. So we're going to focus on the 62 and we're going to break it apart into 60 and 2 and we're going to start with that 2. So we're going to kind of ignore this 6 and just pretend it's 345 times 2. So 2 times 5 is 10. 0 goes down, 1 goes up. And once again, if you're having trouble with your facts, um, encourage you to hit first in math, but you can always use a chart, right? And um, so if I'm going too fast and you say, oh, I can't get it, I don't know my facts, just use a chart, right? Um, so we did two times five is 10, zero went down, one went up. Two times four is eight, plus one is nine. And then two times three is six. So our first, what we call partial product is 690. And what that means is 345 times two is 690, but it's 62. So now we need to multiply 345 times 60. Because this is a 60 and not a six, we're gonna put a zero down as what we call our placeholder because that six is not a six, it's 60. And by putting a zero here, it gives it the power of 10, in this case 60, right? So we're gonna get rid of this one because we've already used it. And now we're ready to do the same thing, except instead of the two, we're gonna do the six. Six times five is 30, zero goes down. 3 goes way up. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 3 is 27. 7 goes down, 2 goes up, and then we have 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20, and technically the 0 goes down, and technically the 2 goes up here, but since it's 6 times nothing in the thousands place, most of us just kind of put the 2 straight down, right? So our second partial product was... 20,700. Now all we have to do is add our two partial products back together. It's kind of like breaking it apart like Humpty Dumpty and then put it back together again. Our final product is going to be 21,390. So what that means is 345 times 2 was 690. 345 times 60 was 20,700. And then we put it back together again. And this equals the entire product the entire total right okay so pause the video again we'll take a look at the second one all right we're back 184 times 79 so very similar to the first one that we did we're gonna break apart the 79 into 9 and 70 and we're gonna start with the 9 and kind of ignore that 7 for for a minute okay 9 times 4 is 36 6 goes down 3 goes up 9 times 8, 72, plus 3, 75. And then 9 times 1 is 9, plus 7 is 16. Let me stop for one second here. A common mistake that we sometimes see, I've even seen, unfortunately, some adults do this, right? So what's, what sometimes people do is when there's a, a number up top that we kind of carried, right? So they'll do... They'll add first and say seven plus one is eight and then do eight times nine is 72. No, 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 right? You do nine times one first and you kind of ignore this. Nine times one, then you add the seven after that, right? So nine times one is nine plus seven is 16. And since there's nothing here, we can just put the one right here. So our first partial product, 184 times nine is 1,656. We're gonna get rid of these two because we've already used them. Now this seven is not a seven. So I would have to do 70 times four, seven. I don't wanna think in 70. So if I just put a zero here, 
that bumps everything over one place value and we know place values are times 10. So now this seven, we just made it a 70, right? So that's why we do that. Seven times four is 28, eight goes down, two goes way up top. Seven times eight, 56, plus the two, 58. Eight goes down, five goes up. Seven times one is seven, plus five is 12. And now we add and we get 14,536. Notice what I try to do is keep, notice how everything's in columns, right? And that's just helpful. If you have trouble with um, handwriting or you, you know when you're doing math, you kind of don't focus on uh, your handwriting, you can always hold your notebook sideways and kind of use these lines as columns, right? So feel free to do that. Um, that's a good little little tip there, right? So the last one, pause the video. We're going to do 403 times 16. Pause the video and then replay it when you're ready. All right, we're back. 403 times 16. This one's a little bit different because we have a zero there. So I want you to focus on something when we get to that, right? Once again, we're going to break the 16 up into 6 and 10. We're going to ignore the 1 for a minute and just do the 6. 6 times 3, 18. 8 goes down, 1 goes up. Now, another kind of common mistake is sometimes when people see a zero, they just skip over it. Well, in this case, we can't because, look, at we have, there's actually a 1 there, right? So 6 times 0 is 0 plus one is one. So zero is a number, just like three, just like nine. We can't just skip it, right? A zero is a number. Six times zero is zero, plus one is one. And then six times four is 24. Four goes down. The two technically goes up here, but since there's nothing there, we can just drop it down. 2,418 is um, 403 times 16. We're going to get rid of this because we've already used it. This one is not a one, it's a 10. So we're going to give it the power of 10 by putting a zero here. And I always love seeing ones down on the bottom because we know it's just super easy, right? With the identity property. One times three is three. One times zero is zero. One times four is four. Super easy. We're ready to add our two partial products. But before we do, I just want to show you what this means, right? This pr partial product right here, this was 403 times six. This partial product right here was 403 times what? Times 10, right? And then down here, it's gonna be 403 times 16 when we put it all together. Eight, four, four, and six. 6,448, and this was 403 times 16. So we broke 16 apart to make it easier for ourselves. And then we put it back together again to get our final product. So a couple over, you know, tips that kind of go with every, any problem. The uh, big thing is to start in the lower right. I, I'm not going to say ones because once we get to decimals, that won't be true. So start in the lower right, lower, lower right. Um, and then don't forget to add this zero, this um, what we call placeholder, because that gives this digit in the tens the power of 10 because place values go by 10, right? So we hope that was helpful. We hope you got three for three. If you didn't, this is kind of like riding a bike, right? The only way to be able to ride a bike and find your balance is to keep trying and not being afraid to tip over right or not being afraid to use those training wheels this is the same thing you just got to keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it and then all of a sudden it's going to be like a light bulb and you're going to get it and then once you get it it's kind of like riding a bike you can you'll never forget it so just keep trying don't get frustrated it was hard for everybody i remember being in you know elementary school and this was tough but once you get it it's it's easy and then since it's hard you're going to feel you're going to feel proud because you you worked hard and now you can finally do it and this will be something that you'll be able to do for the rest of your life um, being able to multiply and i and i know there's you know there's cell phones and there's calculators and there's apps that you can just take a picture and it will show you the answer right away and those are cool but being able to multiply that's something everyone should just know how to do right everyone should know how to do it we know there's tech out there that can do this for for us but we sh we should we should know how to multiply right it's just one of those things that yeah siri can do it for us but we should know how to do it too right so we hope that was helpful keep
keep practicing, and we will catch you on the next one. Thank you.